Hey there, you might have noticed I decided to cut this project a little short and skip the handle making. I encountered a few issues with the steel, the delamination I mentioned earlier, that developed after trying to force the tang. Unfortunately, it spread into the blade after the heat treatment stress. Moreover, I'm not a big fan of how the Damascus turned out. Stacking the blade like this was an experiment. And well, it doesn't look as cool as I hoped it would, especially after grinding in the bevels. And in hindsight, I probably should have seen this coming. And you know, I have thousands of those surgical blades. I will for sure try making Damascus with them again, but next time in a more traditional canister. And I'll also add nickel to the 1095 powder because it turns out the surgical blades adds very similar to high carbon steel. I was expecting more of a difference. It's just another lesson learned from this experiment. But hey, I decided to finish the knife anyway and I use it myself. It's a great opportunity to test different handle shapes and blade geometry. Honestly, I took on this project mainly because I wanted to try out my new straightening hammer. I knew that Nima, your two-layer Damascus, has a tendency to to warp and bend like crazy, so it was the perfect candidate to test the capabilities of the hammer, which I can confirm are impressive. And if you're wondering where I got so many blades for this experiment, they are a fantastic gift from my friends over at Shadow Foam. They use tons of these blades to cut out their foam, and by the way, if you never heard of them, Shadow Foam is an excellent material for organizing toolboxes, bags and more. This is not sponsored or anything, but I leave links in the video description and in the pinned comment if you want to check it out for your organization needs. It's an awesome product and the company is run by great people, so big shout out to them for sending me thousands of blades for this project. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next project. Bye.